What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Moreno TV. Uh, today, I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to a location that I originally was going to go to for my very first video. Unfortunately, the last time that I did try to come here, uh, I didn't realize that the place closed at 8 o'clock. Um, but I'm here now. I'm going to bring you guys along with me to go explore this place. Uh, this place that I'm going to, it's called Hummel Park. Those of you that live in Nebraska or around the Omaha area probably know about this place. I don't know a whole lot about it. I just heard that there's uh, that this place is one of the most haunted places in Nebraska. Um, I'm here during the daytime because it's the only time I can be here. Because the last time we showed up, it was pretty much eight o'clock, and and um, I didn't, we didn't really want to trespass because I think uh, we were reading the last time, and they said that the people that got caught here the last time were charged not charged but they were given a $250 fine I believe but uh I didn't want to chance it so I am here during the day I have the day off so I'm gonna go and check it out explore it and I want to show you guys some locations and stuff that are in here that uh, I wanted to kind of go over and look at because there's some apparently some pretty cool little spots in here so without further ado we're just gonna jump right into it so we'll see you guys there All right, guys. So I made it to Hummel Park. I'm gonna go check out this pavilion here. I guess it's a place where people can come and have picnics, but from my understanding, this place was also once you used as a uh, satanic rituals and stuff like that, I believe. Oh, look at that. It's a star. That's crazy. I don't want to show too much of the writing on the walls here. I don't know what any of that means. So there's fireplaces on each side. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't know. These places. I mean, there's, there's been reports of all kinds of things that have happened here, so. And I've heard of the uh, satanic ritual stuff, and as you can see, there's a star there. It looks like there's been, something's been burnt there. Don't know. But maybe we'll do a spirit box here. Who knows? But we're gonna go, I'm just gonna keep looking around. We're gonna walk these trails and see what else they have here, so. You guys just uh, stay tuned. We'll see ya. I'm just gonna walk around this building real quick. Huh. So this place is a park. It's also the woods as well that we're gonna go into and check out. Hmm. It's got a playground for kids too. Yeah, so apparently there's been a pretty dark history of this place. A lot of murders, suicides, stuff like that have happened here. But we're going to go check it out and see what you guys uh, think, because I think it's pretty cool. But alright, we're going to get going. So, from my understanding from what I've read, this here is what they call the uh, morphing staircase. 
or the stairway to hell. So they say that you can count the steps going down and count them going back up, but the numbers will never match. Um, that's pretty crazy. I don't know if I want to count them, but I think we're going to go down there and check it out and take a look. So I'll bring you guys along with. You guys can see what I see. camera gives it any kind of justice but it goes pretty steep down there so this apparently leads down to a spot where they call I think they call it the devil's den where they've done uh, I think uh, satanic rituals and small animal sacrifices but we're gonna go down and check it out All right I'm just going to keep going down. This place is, uh, like, yeah, the camera just does not do it justice on what this, the steepness of this, this staircase. And I already lost count. I was actually counting in my head, but I got a phone call, so. I'm gonna, uh, I'll see you guys when I get down there to the bottom here. So, just hang tight. All right. So I'm almost made it down to the bottom here. Wow, that goes way up there. Stuff like this is not meant for fat guys. So this down here, I believe, I believe they call this the uh, the Devil's Den. I believe. I think this is where they had satanic rituals and animal sacrifices. crazy I don't know if there's anything on the road or any evidence of anything All right, so I made it down here to the Devil's Den. I am going to, uh, I'm gonna get out my K2 meter and see if it picks up anything out here. So just give me a second, I'll get that out. All right, All right so I have it here. I don't know if, I guess you could probably see the green light on. I don't know. It is daytime, so. But if it, any place that's haunted at nighttime, it should be haunted in the daytime, I would think. Yeah. Alright. So if there's. 
any spirits here? Anything that wants to communicate with me? Can you light this meter up for me? I'm only here out of respect. I don't mean any disrespect to anybody here. Has there been satanic rituals down here in the past? If so, light the lights up. Would anybody like to communicate at all? I'm sure there's other areas I gotta go check out too that I can do this at, but I thought I'd give it a shot here. This is just using the K2. I mean, there's also, I also have the spirit box, but I'm not sure if I'll use that just yet, so. All right, hang tight. I'm going to actually walk with it and see. I'll walk around this little area and see if maybe it'll light up. So just hang on. All right. So I have it here. I'm just going to walk a little bit with it. It's pretty dark out here. Or bright out here, so it's hard to see the, the lights, if anything. Yeah, it's too bright for this thing to light up. Even if it does light up, I wouldn't be able to see it. I'll just turn it off. Like I said, this is more, this would be more for just an exploration than anything because of the daytime. I've got other places that I need to go and check out at nighttime. But yeah, this is the Devil's Den. don't know if there's any truth to the stories that have happened like I said they are local legends so and this is the staircase that goes up they call the morphing staircase and I gotta go back up to the top because I want to go to a different spot and check out yep all right we'll see you guys up to the top all right so I made it up back to the top of the hill I saw another trail so I thought I'd go and take a look at it I don't know how far I'm gonna go down here, but go down a little ways and check it, check it out. <clears throat> oh, spider web, right on my face. What is this? Some bricks here. I don't know if there was something here. I don't know what 
that was I just heard. Almost sound like a gunshot. Alright, we're gonna go back. We're, we're gonna go down this way still. Just a little bit. Maybe. It's a spider. Trails that go different places. Hmm. I have spider webs all over me. Alright. Alright, we're gonna go look at a different spot. So I'll see you guys when I get back to the top of the hill. Alright, so. I made it back up here to the top where the pavilion's at. Um, I had to take a break because those stairs were brutal, at least for me. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to come up here to the back to the top, uh, use the K2 meter. Um, I do have my spirit box, so maybe I'll do a spirit box session as well. But I kind of want to just try this out for now and see how it works up here at least. Um, and then I'll get the spray box out and try it out with that. But this is this, this is the spot where I showed you guys that on the floor there was a a star. I'm assuming that's where they. And I, I found another one over in the corner, but somebody spray painted that one. That one was a spray painted star. And from what I've read, like like these areas here, and then down at the Devil's Den is where they did satanic rituals and uh, like small animal sacrifices and stuff. So. We're going to try this thing out and maybe even do the spare box as well. So just stay tuned. I'll get that stuff set up and uh, we'll get right into it. All right. So I have my K2 meter set up. I have my spare box here, but I'm going to hold it close to the camera. That way you guys can hear um, the spare box. Uh, I'm going to get it started here. Let's see. All right. So if there's any spirits here that would like to communicate, you can do so by using either the K2 meter that has the green light on it by lighting up the bars there, or you can use that by communicating with the spirit box that I have here. Is there anyone here with me? Is there anyone that would like to communicate? Well, why don't we start off by uh, telling me your name? My name's Don. Can you tell me if there are spirits around me? Can you tell me how many are around me? Is there anyone here that has died here then in the past? I don't mean any disrespect. I'm only, I'm only here out of respect. I'm just wanting to communicate and see if there's anything that you'd like to say. Has there been any satanic rituals recently? Can you maybe tell me how old you are? Or maybe uh, how you died.
Well, I appreciate you trying to communicate with me if you are. I will go ahead and let you go, so thank you for your time. Goodbye. Yeah. So I'm not sure... I'm not sure if I uh, got anything on that or not. It's kind of hard to... Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, it is daytime, um, but you would think any place that's haunted would also be haunted in the daytime, not just nighttime. Um, but I tried it out. I'll have to go back over the footage and listen carefully to the spare box and see if I had any responses. And uh, But yeah, I am going to go. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can find another location and just kind of explore more. Like I said, this is more for exploring than it is for the paranormal side, but I was curious to see if I was going to be able to get anything here in this pavilion here. So it was worth a try, and I thought, why not? Yeah, uh, we're going to go to the next, or I'm going to look for another spot, and then we'll go check that out. So we'll see you guys there. All right. So I'm looking for this location. It's called the Devil Slide. It's kind of hard to find. I don't know if I'm going to find it, but I'm going to check out some areas here. All right, so look. I'm going to walk down this. It's like a little a scenic area down here. If I don't slip and fall. And sorry for the wind. I know it's going to be windy right here. Wow, look at this scenic view here. I wonder if this is what they're talking about. Like maybe this is the devil slide? You gotta admit, it kind of looks like a slide. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty cool though. That's pretty steep down there. So, I don't know if this is it, but I'm gonna go, go ahead and head on back because this trail's, they're pretty steep trails, man, so I'm tired. But, all right, we'll see you guys when we get back to the car. I turned the camera back on because I kind of wanted to record a little bit of the trail. I'll be able to see some stuff down there. Huh. All right. All right. I'm gonna start heading back now. So there's some pretty cool looking trails. Please, I hope I don't get poison ivy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the car now. Uh, we'll see you guys when I get there. All right, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like what you saw. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, smash that like button, and uh, share my videos. So I went, uh, I went down the morphing staircase. I was counting in my head. Uh, I think I counted up to maybe about 120 before I lost count. Uh, it was fine going down, but uh, <laughs> going back up was a different story. Um, so I got up maybe about halfway up. I was starting to breathe pretty heavy because I was, I'm, I mean, I'm not built for this. 
<laughs> for going upstairs like that. Uh, but yeah, I finally made it back up to the top. So I went to that pavilion. Uh, I did a spirit box there. So let me know if you guys heard or saw anything uh, in the comments below. That'll definitely help. I got to go back over the footage of the spirit box session to see if I got anything on that as well. Um, but yeah, I looked around a little bit. I went down a couple of trails. I went down, uh, so I went to go and try to find something. It's called the Devil Slide. I found a trail. It took me to a spot. Uh, there was, uh, I don't know if that was the Devil Slide or not, but it had a really, really cool looking scenic view there. So I, I kind of did a little bit there for a minute, but uh, I had fun. This place is actually pretty nice. Um, it's pretty, pretty peaceful actually. I mean, there was people actually walking around these trails, uh, but a lot of these trails are very steep, and then I wasn't going to be able to make it up most of them. I was surprised I got back up to back up the stairs. But anyways, uh, so my next video, I'm thinking of maybe going back to the cemetery that I have done, that 24-hour cemetery. They had the uh, that big mausoleum, and I did the spirit box there with the K2 meter, and I got some feedback on that. I'm thinking about going back to that and doing another video and um, investigating a little bit more around that mausoleum to try to get more from there because I did get some feedback on that so I'm hoping to go back and do it again to see what I get but uh but yeah so thank you guys so much for watching I appreciate it and um, we'll see you guys in the next video peace